Hey guys, so I have about 15 minutes to go here before I clock in. I gotta clock in at 12.15. But I wanted to come on here and give you my thoughts on this whole white rabbit thing that WWE is doing and all the apparent clues that are leading to the fact that this is going to be Bray Wyatt, uh, Wyndham Rotundo, making his return under the white rabbit persona or the, right, the white rabbit gimmick, which is... I guess the next evolution of the Bray Wyatt character. I mean, we had Bray Wyatt in FCW. We had the next incarnation in NXT. Then we have what we did in WWE, which is basically NXT, but the NXT version, but called up. But then you add in Braun Strowman. So that's the third evolution. Then we had, you know, Bray Wyatt. You know, as the fiend, which was the fourth evolution, and now the fifth evolution is the white rabbit. And if you're kind of looking at the fiend uh, evolution of Bray as sort of its own thing, you can look at this as the evolution of the fiend character. Like the white rabbit is the next, the next step, if you will. But the question obviously is, if this white rabbit. And again, all clues are pointing towards Ray Wyatt being the White Rabbit. You know, if all these are true, and it's not a waste of time by WWE and Triple H and all that, the question obviously is, who does Ray go after? Who is going to be the target of the White Rabbit uh, incarnation of the fiend Ray Wyatt? You know, you know who's going to be the target? And there's a lot of people that say that this white rabbit could consist of not just Bray, but of other people as well, like Dexter Loomis, Karrion Cross, you know, Scarlet, um, you know, to an extent, Braun Strowman, you know, and several others, even Alexa Bliss. But, you know, with all that said, with a this is all going to culminate in a group led by Bray, by the White Rabbit, you know, the White Rabbit version of the Fiend, Bray Wyatt. The obvious question is, who is he going to target? Who is he going to go after first, potentially along with his followers, if any of that is connected in some way? And I know a lot of people are saying, well, that's up to what WWE wants to do. That's up to what Bray wants to do, and that's up to whoever wants to agree to be his first opponent, his first program when he makes his return. And that is indeed true. But, if we, you know, if we look at, you know, how The Fiend was when Bray introduced that character, we know that The Fiend represented basically getting back, getting revenge you know, um, over those that humiliated Bray, those that basically denied Bray, you know, his superiority. You know, he's gone after everybody that Bray's feuded with just about and basically got what many would consider the wins back for Bray, but under the Fiend character. So, obviously, the question is now, who is the White Rabbit going to go after you know, um, since some of these people, you know, The Fiend has already gotten vengeance on. And I think the most logical question, the log most logical answer, I should say, the most logical answer is Roman Reigns. Now, I know you're thinking, well, they're setting Roman up for Cody, right? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But, but, that doesn't mean... Roman can't be involved in a program like this. You know, you have the bloodline acting all superior every time they make a presence. Every time they show up, it's like, you know, no matter who they feuded with, they always come out on top. They always win. So, the obvious question is, who could stop them, right? And if you look at you know, all the clues leading to the fact that the White Rabbit is Bray. 
It is the fiend. I mean, all the clues that indicate, you know, you know, indicate pretty much give away the the fact that it is him. You have to probably look at the fact that if this is the next evolution of the Brave White character, the fifth evolution, as well as the first evolution of the Fiend persona, we all know that, well, basically Bray on his own was portrayed as creepy, supernatural, nobody knew what to make of him. The Fiend character was just, you know, like his super form, his, his super go super Goku form, if you will, to where he was basically untouchable. It's like no matter you know what you did to him, no matter what you did to him, you know, he would always get back up. Like, how many times did Seth Rollins hit him with a curb stomp and he just shrugged it off like that ain't nothing? Or how many times did certain people knock him down with their finisher and he got up like it was nothing? You know, more times than I can count. More times than I can count. So, it only makes sense that if you're going to bring somebody in to do, you know, it, what is considered basically the impossible, and that's topple or weaken the tribal chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns and his bloodline, why not bring in somebody that's you know, evolving constantly. And why not bring him in as this evolution, the sixth evolution of the Bray Wyatt character, probably the final evolution of the Bray Wyatt character, as well as the first evolution of the Fiend persona. You know, why not, you know, why not bring, you know, him in uh, to do the job? To show that not even the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, you know, and his bloodline can stop this guy. I mean, can you imagine, can you imagine the, you know, uh, Roman hitting a spear on the fiend, or on this right rabbit version of the fiend, fiend covering him, and then, you know, Bray kicks out, and with Roman shocked, all of a sudden Bray just stands up, up like nothing affected him and Roman just turns around and, and shock goes like what the hell like he can't believe his best move didn't take this guy down or like oh well, let's say he puts him in that chokehold of his that kukia that little uh, chokehold of his to put him to sleep let's say he does that referee does the raising of the arms and then the arm doesn't go down for that third time I'm um, and then he just pulls and then he just shoves Roman off and pulls himself out and it's like it didn't it's like it didn't affect him and Roman could have that look like what the hell I mean that is perfect storytelling when you think about it and you could basically hint at the fact that the right rabbit just like the fiend because it'd be a final evolution six final evolution of the Bray character and the first evolution of first and maybe final evolution of the fiend character you know, you could have Bray pretty much hint at the fact that Roman, you brought this on yourself because you stole something important from me, which of course would be the Universal Championship. So I could see at the end of the day, I could see at the end of the day, um, you know, the, when the White Rabbit does show up. You know, when he does show up, and if it is Bray, and this turns out to be that sixth and final evolution of the Bray White character, and the first and probably only evolution of the Fiend persona of Bray, I could see Roman being his first target, and being his first target because of the fact that he took something, that Roman basically took something from Bray that he shouldn't have taken, and that being his title. And if he is going to come back and everybody we've been seeing with all these you know supernatural you know, abilities or supernatural mis mis uh, mysteries behind them like a Loomis a Cross, a Scarlet you know a Stro well maybe not a Strowman but you get the idea you know maybe even a Joe Gacy and his team if they get called up you know you know if 
you know, Bray makes his return and targets Roman to get back his title because Roman stole it from him. And he has this group with him, you know, then that is a, then to me, that is a perfect storyline to build on going into two, 2023. Not just Survivor Series, which, you know, would be too soon for a War Games match, but maybe not, who knows. But going into 2023, that's a great storyline to work on because, again, here you have the bloodline. They run rub shot over everybody. They've dominated everybody they've been in the ring with. But here comes Bray Wyatt, you know, as this, in this sixth and final evolution of his character, the first, in, you know, along with the first and final evolution of the Fiend persona, here he comes along with this group of people that have been showing up, you know, and doing all these crazy things, you know, to combat the bloodline. And you could go into 2023 with the question, can the bloodline now do what nobody's been able to do to them? Can the bloodline beat this supernatural force of the, you know, this white rabbit tribe? Can, can they do that? Can, can they beat Bray and his crew? You know, because you can position Bray and his crew as being on equal footing, if not more above the bloodline in way, you know, in the ways of basically, you know, not being easily beatable, if not being beatable at all. You know, who knows? Again, there's a lot of endless possibilities. And even if you don't do that, and you just go with Bray Wyatt, you know, as the White Rabbit, you know, the sixth and final evolution of the Wyatt character, and the first and maybe only evolution of the Fiend persona of the Wyatt character, if you go with that as the only thing, and he's targeting Roman, he's taking out the bloodline left and right, you know, here and there, again, that's something you could build into 2023, because... That could be something that's like, okay, can Roman, because the question would be asked, can Roman walk into WrestleMania next year, still undisputed champion, or with one of his titles, and can he basically beat, seemingly, the unbeatable in The Fiend, or this final evolution of the Bray Wyatt character in The Fiend persona? Can he do that, you know, can, you know, can he do that, you know, in the long run, you know, entering WrestleMania season? And to me, that's a great story. That would be a great story to work with. And get this. If you can't get The Rock, if you can't get The Rock and everything, and let's say you somehow get the uh, championship, you know, off of Roman, whether it's through a cash-in by Austin Theory or whatever, and he's just stuck with the Universal title, and Cody's going after Theory or Rollins or whoever has it, that leaves the door open for Roman to get into the ring, you know, with the Fiend. You know, with this evolution of the Fiend and try to basically beat him. And maybe the culmination is you have this White Rabbit version of the Fiend, this final evolution of Bray Wyatt's overall character and the first and only evolution of the uh, Fiend character. You could have him, storyline-wise, beat Roman on the biggest stage of all and through his mystic supernatural voodoo caused Roman to vanish. And we don't see Roman maybe for a couple of months and he comes back and he's the Roman of old. Maybe that's something you can do. We don't, maybe that's something they could do. Again, the possibilities are there uh, for them to, to work with. If Roman is probably the one that Bray's gonna go after when he returns as, if, when he returns as the right rabbit, if that's who it is, which more, more likely every time a clue is dropped is leading towards uh, towards the fact that it is him so we'll see but let me know what your thoughts are comment down below live chat during the premiere do you think roman will be the first target of the right rabbit let me know down below in the comment section live chat during the premiere guys super chat super stickers are open during the premiere in the live chat and super thanks afterwards and until next time, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. I got to get into work now, and I am out.